What's up guys, my name is Steven. Welcome to Ginger on the Go. And today we're visiting a nation I can guarantee you've never heard of. This is the micronation of Ladonia in Southern Sweden. Its national anthem can be heard in every single country in the world every single day. It has its own time zone. All right guys, we're actually in a separate time zone from Sweden now. We are three minutes behind Swedish time and we're in Ladonia time, which is pretty cool. I feel three minutes difference. I feel it in my body. There's three minutes. I feel three minutes younger. Actually, I feel three minutes older because of this freaking climb. Oh, I'm on the edge. Whoa. Ladonia also has a queen and 23,000 citizens, but not one person lives here. So what's the story behind this empty micronation? Let's find out. This is pretty crazy. Yeah, this is cool. It all began with this man, Lars Vilks, who began building Nemeth in 1980 out of 70 tons of driftwood. And since it's so secluded, it took over two years before the Swedish officials realized what was going on. Lars Vilks was building this. It took two years before the Swedish government realized what he was doing. And when they found out, they were like, got to tear it down man and he was like, like no let's go to court and so the court battle lasted 16 years and he got fined a lot of money i think but ladonia survived all of this and many other tragedies as well and to protect it he sold it because the swedish government said he had to tear it down because this is a nature reserve and these are buildings you're not allowed to build buildings in a nature reserve and so I'm just going to catch my breath. <laughs> and so he sold it to another artist. And on the bill of sale, it didn't say building or whatever it would say. It said driftwood, which it is, uh, which somehow protected it. And so then after 16 years of court battles and fines and selling it to different people, he eventually somehow, and I don't know how, he eventually was able to succeed this area from Sweden. So this area is not part of Sweden. It's part of, well, hell at the <laughs> moment. So we're on our way to Ladonia and look, they don't even have it on the map in Sweden. Today, Ladonia claims to have 23,000 citizens around the globe, but no one lives here since Ladonia has a strict nomadic policy. I'm crawling through this hole. <laughs> ah. <laughs> and we're doing it guys, we're getting out. I can see why nobody lives here. Now you might be wondering, what do Ladonians, Ladonianites, Ladonianians do? They might spend their time listening to the national anthem, which is the sound of a rock hitting the water are playing the Ladonian national sport of stone racing, which the Ladonian Minister of Art calls fairly slow. Do you want to be a citizen of Ladonia? Well, you can. Everyone who applies online is accepted, like 4,000 Pakistanis who applied and were accepted, and then were disappointed when they started looking for an embassy on how to move here. So what did you think about one of the world's most empty micronations?